Ah uh, friends, thank you so much for joining Adventist Angels Watch on our radio. Friends, there is no uh, uh, there is no faithfulness which we can equate when a person stands for what is right. The principle of Jesus Christ is a principle which we must copy uh, for all times, for all ages. Uh, the principle of uh, David is a principle whereby he stood on the unrighteousness acts of uh, King Saul. We have had men like that in the time past, like Martin Luther, uh, the reformer, John Wycliffe, John Us, and the many reformers, the were dancers and the such like. Here we have a man here known as uh, the David Otega, a president of Nicaragua, who expelled Jesuits uh, and uh, closed some uh, the institutions and even expelled the Jesuits from his country. What does this tell you? What is the essence of uh, this message? Have you, do you know the history of Jesuits in America? Have you known how Jesuits are shaping policies of nations all over the world? Do you know your history? Do you know the people? Do you know uh, what is really happening all around governments in the world? Okay, I wish you should know. Uh, men have stood on the periods of their lives uh, to show the people uh, where we are in prophetic history and uh, to protect freedom, to protect uh, the rights of the people, individual rights, friends, uh, against the common good, so called, which has swept away individual rights. Um, today we want to deal about uh, this incident and I welcome you as we have a study, as we pray, even as we start. Let's pray. Father Neven, the King of the Universe, you are the source of our wisdom, the source of our knowledge. Father, we call upon thy name in this hour. We pray and seek thy spirit to teach us so that we can understand what is your wish for us to comprehend in these perilous times. Give us thy spirit. Touch me with thy living call. Cleanse me, Father, from every witty. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray and I believe. Amen. So a person can ask us, uh, the Nicaragua president, Daniel Ortega, stood in Jesuit pop his way. We will get to know of uh, this. Uh, so I was, my attention was caught about this uh, message here, where it says Nicaragua pans Jesuits and confisc confiscates all their assets. So I wonder what you understand by the Jesuits. The Jesuits, and Paul Francis himself being a Jesuit, they think uh, uh, these are the kind of people who do things their own way. And uh, not in the empirical way, friends, their main agenda is that is to do away with protestantism is to ensure that the pope gains gains what Europe dominance what do we read from the evidence from europe to africa add lessons in the limits of papal power pope francis a group of leader their main agenda is to return the supremacy of pope francis all over the world Three European alliances, one evangelical Catholic unity is going too far. What is the agenda? Is uh, to ensure that Pope Francis regains universal supremacy. Okay. Every cardinal, archbishop, and a bishop in the Catholic Church takes an oath of allegiance to the Pope, in which occur the words heretics, schismatics, and reapers to our said Lord the Pope or his aforesaid successors, I to my youth most persecute and oppose. Josiah Strong, Our Country, chapter 5, paragraph 2 to 4. So, the book of Daniel, chapter 8, verse 24, speaks that uh, the world is going to wander to the papacy, and his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power, and he shall destroy wonderfully, and shall prosper, and practice, and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. Daniel 8, 24. That is what he did in the time past. What is going to happen again? That is this principle manifest destiny, which destroyed indigenous communities, which the Pope used in the time past. Those who would not adhere to our teachings, our doctrines, who are persecuted. So we see what she is doing out of the universe. I see she calls for what? For climate justice, justice for the poor, for the needy, such like. But in a real sense, is taking our freedoms through schools, through our teachings all over the world. We see it's more than a school, it's more than learning, it's more than a community. The Jesuits are taking the front lines. They say stop the killing in Israel, Palestine, but behind the scenes, they are the, they are what they are steering it. The ex-Jesuit priests reconnected despite 
alleged sex assaults. So, are they above the law? So, why did the Nicaragua president confiscate, confiscate and uh, all the assets of the Nicaragua, uh, of the assets of the Jesuits? Because these people, they know no pawns. They only listen to who? To Rome. The only person they know who they should listen to, they are bound to, is the Pope of Rome. Everything you know, you need to know about Jesuit history in the U.S. Uh, if you want to know how J.F. Kennedy died, understand the history of the Jesuits. If you want to know the presidents who were assassinated in America, go to the history of the Jesuits. If you want to know, just go to the history of the Jesuits. Pope tells Jesuits in inclusivity, doctrinal, evolution, synodality are crucial to the church. If you don't uh, adhere to these teachings of the common good, if you don't adhere to the common theology, which is teaching the world to teach a common theology, a common theology means that you listen to what Pope Francis teaches, to his doctrines. If you don't adhere to this, you are against these teachings. What would happen to you? They would eliminate you. Do you know the sons of Amman? They had one mind to the teachings of Amman. And they were against the, the, the Jews. That is what is happening in our time today. The anti-Christian power, which the protesters of Spires rejected, is now with renewed vigor seeking to reestablish its lost supremacy. Rome is arising. The same one serving adherence to the word of God manifested that that crisis of the reformation is the only hope of a reform today. And the ten horns, which thou sowest, are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet, but they receive power as kings, one hour with the peace. Revelation 17 verse 12. So who is giving power to the papacy? Who is re, uh, rekindling uh, our power again? Uh -huh. Our power was given by who? By the people. And they will destroy the holy people. That is the strong arm of the government, friends. Arms were on his race. Daniel chapter 11 verse 31 to 36 says that arms were on his, on his way. So he was using arms. Do you know the history of Jezebel? The history of Jezebel, he was using the arms of, uh, of, uh, of the state. Harp was a state and Jezebel was a church. A woman represents a pride, a church. So Jezebel was using the arm of uh, King Harp of the state. So a reformation is needed here. People are establishing uh, uh, justice in the ruins of what? In Lippert, in the ruins of apostasy, in the ruins of evil. Is it peace, Jehu? 2 Kings chapter 9, verse 22. The, uh, this person, people took uh, Napoli's property. These people are invaded our properties, our personal rights. That is our liberty, our personal properties, our personal rights. Don't you know that your body is the temple of God? They have gone to find the pestilence 19. What would they do in other abominations which are coming, in other calamities which are coming? The minister would take away our liberties, like the time of, of Napot. So, and they will come pottery, 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 to uh, 22, 2 Kings chapter 9, verse 22. And it came to pass when Joram saw Jehu. That he said, Is it peace, Jehu? And he answered, What peace? So long as the whoredoms of your mother Jezebel and our witchcraft are so many. What kind of peace do you expect in the ruins of Lippert, in the ruins of evil? Psalms 94, verse 20. The Bible says, Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with the which frameth mischief by law? So when they do away the ten commandments of God, the law, what did you expect? Would you say it is peace? The book of Isaiah, chapter 48, verse 18, the Bible today says, Oh, that thou art hearkened to my commandments, then, then, then shall, shall have been thy peace as a river. So, have they hearkened to the commandments of God? No. Is it peace, Jehu? No, oh, friends. There will be no peace for the wicked. For salvation is far from the wicked, for they seek not thy status. Psalms 119, verses 155. So, friends, they gather themselves together against the sword of the righteous and they condemn the innocent blood. So, what is happening in Nicaragua? I want to understand, uh, to show you what happened at the time of Jesus Christ. The wicked were surrounding Jesus Christ and they were saying, Crucify him. That was the principle ever. That is the principle which men of God have stood for ages past. That was the principle which Elijah stood on, uh, on uh, where it was surrounded by 454 prophets and 400 prophets of the grooves, friends. But the Lord is my defense and my God is the rock of my refuge. 
so in pestilence 19 in wars and rumors of wars who is my defense who is my rock jesus christ but whom do people turn to they turn to armies they turn to what they turn to pestilence 19 jabs and shots the lord the lord is my defense and my rock friends i would not fear the whoredoms and our sorceries witchcraft the sorceries revelation chapter uh chapter 17 chapter 18 verse 21 to 23 it says our sorceries those are pharmacare and such like those are the shots uh rom packs packs of the shots which have taken the war mad huh? Lawyers, Jesus need to get us into good trouble. So they, what are they saying that Jesus need to get us into good, good trouble? Why are they calling it good trouble? Because they believe in order out of chaos. They believe that they, by calamities which they have agitated, agitated, they are going to come out strong. Have we ever had a principal where Pope Francis says uh, uh, that Jesus' scripture is arising from Vatican is uh, Jesus' scripture is arising out of out of iniquity destruction. You can go, just go and post that and understand that Jesus is Vatican is Jesus is nuclear, uh, scripture arising from uh, nuclear destruction. What does that mean? They believe in order out of chaos. They are the same people steering these things, huh? and they believe a good something good is coming out of it, friends. Can we? Uh, these are the same, you know. Papal Rome was established in the ruins of uh, pagan Rome and paganism and those principles and doctrines and the statues which were incorporated to the church and they say that they are embracing the truth. Nothing like that, friends. Uh, and even uh, these people have established their idol serpents. This we see that they are let's say, bringing calamities and you know these calamities they are calling them is climate change. The pestilence 19 says caused by climate change and all of this everything now has been covered under the gap of climate change and they believe they are bringing things out out of chaos bringing good things out of it a river of hope for tropical rainforest they are bringing hope from chaos christ is sacred earth bringing order out of chaos rome asserts so they believe in order out of chaos that is why the doctrines which are being enforced in china of common good common good china uh-huh uh, china model of the common good news headline said so whose doctrines are steering the nations is Rome's doctrines which are steering the nations. a group of mobile ccp ambitions great chaos for great order so the world is made mad by the doctrines of rome which has come up with this idol serpent i don't have time to cover this because our doctrines have made the nations mad they are saying that they are bringing peace but behind it they are bringing a uh, confusion of every sort god is our refuge and strength a very pleasant air in trouble we will not fear in this pestilence and calamities but men are turning to men for help do they really know what is behind it no friends as of late catholic in central america have been under attack in nicaragua in nicaragua and the line tensions between the otega regime of nicaragua and the catholic church culminated in the government's confiscation of a central american university in managua in uh, august of this year after the university was labeled as a center of terrorism and a prompt report confiscated all UCA students were expelled and the leaders of the institution branded as traitors of the country were imprisoned. This can be seen with Bishop Ronaldo Alvarez, who is still in confinement at the time of what? At the time of uh, this article's publication. Remember this article was published today. Today. What is the day? The day today? Today is Friday, November 3rd, 2023. Uh, so these people have been reported as terrorists who are there who is pope francis also reporting fundamentalist he's calling us fundamentalists those who believe on absolute truth those who do not acknowledge who call pope francis as uh, the antichrist as the europe leader so these people are what fundamentalists they don't want to give up away freedom they don't want i mean not to give up uh, they don't want, want to surrender their freedom because Pope Francis says the common good is that nations should surrender their individual rights. Nations and the people should surrender their common interest. 
the individual interest for the sake of common good. Nations should surrender their properties like the time of uh, Jezebel, the time of Napot. Napot should surrender his land for the common good so that we are going to use that property for the common good. You should surrender your liberties. Uh, uh, if you don't surrender, you are what? You are a terrorist, a fundamentalist. You are a plague. You are a plague troubling us. So during such a grave point in history, it is important to remember the Jesuit conviction towards the advancement of social justice and revolutionary efforts rooted in the principle of justice. So the Jesuits believe that they have the conviction towards the, towards the advancement of social justice and a revolutionary effort. Pope Francis says a climate revolution is needed. A revolution is needed to combat climate change. So this is the order of the Jesuits. They come ahead and say, you know, we are bringing something in social justice. We are bringing something, a revolution out of it. But behind the scenes, oh, don't you know how the devil came in the Garden of Eden? He was coming like a, an angel of light, but behind it, Mother note for Satan comes like an angel of light, friends. And behind it, what is it? Like he's bringing solutions, but behind it, a social order is taking away liberties, friends. Who is this on the panning push? An angel on the panning push? Popo convinced meeting on the rain force on the panning push? Aha, uh -huh. as Amazon fire span, who is this? Is the Antichrist, friends. This is the devil, friends, coming like he is a savior. But behind it, oh, freedom is at stake. You surrender your liberties, you become slaves. When the leading judges of the United States, uniting upon such points of doctrines as are held by them in common, sharing in France the state to enforce their degrees and sustain their institutions, then Protestant America would have formed an image of the Roman hierarchy and the infliction of civil penalties upon dissenters with inevitable results. As the papacy became firmly established, the work of Sunday exaltation was continued. So, under the cup of climate change, they saying climate hearing by doing what? one day a week so what are they to do they are invading us friends they are invading us mika 2 13 says uh, the breakers come up before them they have broken up and have passed through the gates and are gone out by it and their king jesus christ shall pass before them and the lord on the head of them so but there is an invasion here somebody is making himself a, a strong voice for all christians the papacy he's saying we are all catholics this is the synod, synod of Synodarity, which has been brought by who? But the Jesuits, the Jesuits have come up with this uh, synod, which is uniting all judges, all governments. If you don't adhere to this, you are troubling them. The Roman Catholic Church, with all its ramifications throughout the world, forms one vast organization under the control. Under what? The control. And designed to serve the interests of the purposes. So what is Pope Francis? The common good has gone grope. What is that common good? If you don't serve the interests of the papacy, you know that's why Nicaragua president said he conf confiscated all their properties and closed touch schools, universities. Why? Because these people are surrendering everything to the papacy. The papacy has taken the world by storm. The church is now ruling. The, ch the church is now ruling in under this type of Jewish ecumenism. And uh, as they say that the church is now ruined. No, friends. My Jesus Christ says my kingdom is not of this world. So, it is millions of communica communicants in every country on the globe are instructed to hold themselves as bound in allegiance to the Pope. Whatsoever their nationality or their government, they are bound. They are, they are, they are to regard the authority of the church, the authority of the Pope as above or other. So, Pope reads the church. This is what the Nicaragua president has realized. And they said, you know what? No, no, friends. The man behind this concerted effort against the Catholic Church is Daniel Ortega, originally a revolutionary figure associated with Sandinista National Repression Front, and who had a direct role in the overthrow of the Somoza dictatorship. So Ortega is fall from uh, grace has been marked by notable instances of voter suppression as seen in the 1984 election consecutive electoral defeats, allegations of child molestation, and a frandering nationalized economy. So all this, like child molestation, where is it remembered? Is it not in Rome? Yes, it is sounded everywhere. These people who say that they are caring so much, 
behind the scenes they are the same people who are uh, who are backbiting it who are uh, bring uh, these things uh, calamities because they say there is order out of chaos they bring chaos friends behind the scenes they are the trouble makers because they want to establish a one world leader Pope Francis. So despite claiming an alliance with the Jesuits of Nicaragua, Ortega would return to power in 206 with an implicitly and Catholic attitude. So what is it? He realized who they were. So he had to embrace them. He had to do what with Rome. He has to say, you know, I adhere to your doctrines. You know what? Support me. I will work on your side. But behind the scenes, he realized that these people Behind the scenes, they need group of governments. Pope had become the world's despot. Kings and emperors powered to the degrees of the Roman pontiff. The destinies of both for time and for eternity seemed under his control. The noon of the papacy was the midnight of the world. It's all Protestantism. Aha. Uh -huh. The scriptures, all scriptures were almost unknown, not only to the people, but to the priests. Why? Because this was a murderer. So he is calling himself God, a negation of God's dream. In, in Ukraine's war, who is this calling himself God? The dream of Pope Francis is calling himself God, friends. Let's dream, Pope Francis. So he's calling himself God on earth. Pope Francis apologizes, apologizes for killing Protestants. So as they say, they are the saviors, but behind the scenes, what? They are the persecutors, friends. Uh, understand history. Satan is working in the Utahs to make himself as God and to destroy all who oppose his power. And today, the world is pouring before him, all nations, all the world wandered after the peace. Revelation 13 verse 3. His power is received as the power of God. The prophecy, the prophecy of Revelation is being fulfilled, that all the world are wandered after the peace. Revelation 13 verse 3. This is the man, the papacy, who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called God, all that is worshipped, so that he as God, sit in the temple of God, show himself that he is God, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 4. Ortega would oversee major institutional challenges in 2014 that would ensure the president of Nicaragua would be able to run for an unlimited amount of uh, uh, amount of five-year term effectively making Ortega president for life. So, what do they want to establish the Papa system for? The Papa see for life. His rule for life. Dominion everywhere. So, let the restraints now imposed by secular government be removed. You will see how Papa see will work. You see what he's doing. All nations are listening to him. All oh, friends. Papa C will rule for life. That is what behind the scenes. Because the president is standing on their own way. They want the dominion. They want to teach students very fast. They want a revolution for climate change. So to be protected, they say surrender to Rome. All roads to who? All roads. The whole says the whole say say that all roads lead to where? They lead to Rome. This will not be the only instance of dictatorial behavior in, in, exhibited by David Ortega as he would make his wife Rosario Murillo his vice president. And she would proceed to act as the voice of reinforcement for Ortega's policies and to try to assuage concern over the corrupt nature of his regime. So, his wife Rosario Murillo was given a, 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 a to, was set, uh, set up in the government to do what to reinforce his policies but the book of Daniel chapter 8 verse 25 uh, says that the church of rome his policies by crafty are taking all over the nations other nations have uh, taken up the climate agenda they don't know what the people did in the time past how she persecuted and killed protestants and destroyed many so what would the wife do the wife would reinforce Compounded by our reinforcements. So, remember what uh, Church and the State, when it united in the time of Hahab and Jezebel, what they did to Elijah. Elijah had to free. Many, many, many reformers in the time of Elijah died. Do you know what happened to John the Baptist, the reformer? He was destroyed by Herodias, Herodias' daughter. Because the matter behind it, the church behind it, steered Herod, the king, the state. To do something to Herod, to uh, to John the Baptist, and he was killed. What will happen to all these people in these last days? These things should steer us that freedom is at stake in our nations, friends. Freedom is going away, as the papacy is uh, 
uh, is, there is a storm coming in this 21st century. Why? The Pope is calling himself God and he wants world dominion. The Twitter of Pope Francis, he wants dominion. He says there is darkness in the earth, gross darkness the people. So what does he need? The Roman Catholic Church with all its ramifications throughout the world forms one vast organization under the control designed to serve the interests of the Papal See as pound in allegiance to the Pope. So all the world is one out of the peace, all the papacy. So if you don't adhere to these doctrines, if you don't listen to this voice of the papacy, you are troubling them. What would they do to you? Oh, what they did in the time past. If you don't understand what they did in the time past, it's better you go read and understand what they did in the time past. Persecution, friends. So as previously stated, the Jesuits were originally in alignment with Ortega and the FCLN. This may be bewildering, but it makes sense given the history of Jesuits as advocates for social justice and the possible social change especially. In the case of Nicaragua, when the country was faced with a tyrant such as Somoza, so they are questioning why did this man, man who we say was on our side, why is it that he has stand from the roadmap, from the uh, encyclical we gave him, from the doctrines we set before him, why is it that he has turned aside from us, why is it that he is not listening to us, this Daniel Ortega, why is he not listening to us, why has he changed, he doesn't remember what we did to him in the time past. So even in America, the Jesuits have uh, taken over because the Jesuits can give you power, uh, they can give you power, they can set you in power, they can also take you from power if you don't do according to their pleadings. So they will paint you whatsoever with, uh, that you have done this and that so they can remove you from power. So who are really these Jesuits? The Jesuits their own order, of they are of their own order. For France called for a new world order after the pandemic. So to bring, to bring order out of chaos, to bring calamities, and they say, you know what, to end these calamities, you must rest, you must do this, you must reinstate the purpose into power. So Pope is in Sacrificacy blueprint for a better and more just uh, world. What is it to bring chaos? chaos or that of chaos friends that's the doctrines of rome so that is the agenda of rome in this time as the world is more ready about francis so they call for sunday they want to reinstate the church to use force friends to use the church and they are calling for sunday as a day of worship this is the papacy the law for the observance of the first day of the week is the production of the apostate christendom sunday is the child of the papacy exalted by the christian world above the sacred day of god's rest in no case are god's people to pay it homage so we see what is behind it so loyola new orient jesuits new orient jesuits are not excluded from the sense of this sense of advocacy and the commitment to possible social change as seen with father louis j tommy SJ, who was uh, noted for his advocacy and alignment with the civil rights movements of the 1960s. So these people say they are the safeguards of uh, liberty. Behind the, behind the scenes, if you go to 1960s in America, you will understand what happened in the civil movements in 1960s in America. Huh? It's whereby the presidents were assassinated. Behind it, the Jesuits. It is in these examples that Jesuits, Gropari, but especially in New Orleans, have to fall if they want to uphold the Jesuit principle of justice. Is it justice, friends? If you don't adhere to their principles, they will remove you. Go to the Dark Ages. Not only in the Dark Ages, go to the time of Pestilence 19, when the Pope says that everybody has a moral obligation to get the jab and the shots. If you don't adhere to this, if you are a, pre a president, you will be removed from power. If not from power, you will be poisoned. Uh, you will receive that poison. Go read the book. Uh, uh, okay, I will give you in another time. It is especially important that uh, as a Jesuit institution like Leora New Arena, that matters of social justice and humanitarian issues are promoted for for mostly uh, within the university's grant uh, scheme of Jesuit education. What is this education? Uh, they call it for Sunday friends. They are gathering friends against the righteous they are gathering under the issue of climate change they are gathering 
they are teaching students like uh, Great Tamban what has he run to do he says uh, what climate justice that is the justice they need what is the agenda Pope Francis is going all over the world like uh, oh where has Pope Francis visited since 2013 the Lord God of heaven asked the devil at one time the time of a job where have you seen my servant job where have you come from from going to and from the earth where has Pope Francis visited since 2013 Going to and from the earth, what followed there after calamities? Who is behind it? Haman troubling letter, friends. His letter troubling. Time is running out. Pope wants against wasting the climate chance to save the planet. Behind it, you see that they are the saviors, but behind it, ha, <laughs> let us see. On care for our common home. This is the letter of Pope Francis, huh? saying on care for what? Of, on care for our common home, but behind it. Pope Francis, the chaplain of the United Nations, he wants to take care of the universe to rule, to rule friends, a wary leader, a wary leader. And the uh, bishops, uh, evangelicals, they are blind, they don't know prophecy, the wicked, uh, wicked reveal in his time, 2nd century, 2 verse 6 and 8. Wicked is ruling the rise of Ammon, the wicked is being revealed. Let not an evil speaker be established in the earth, friends. Let not an evil speaker be established in the earth. Those who don't are there, those who will not compromise with the teachings of Rome, those minute groups, how is the Pope calling them? The mental structure of fundamentals is violence in the name of God. They don't want to surrender. Their mind, they are skeptics. The mental gymnastics of climate change denial. If you deny climate change, you are a fundamentalist. You should be eliminated, annihilated. So in a real sense, who are they pointing to? These teachings, these are the education the students are receiving in Nicaragua. This is what the president realized. Now is the time to leave Laudate Si. If you don't leave Laudate Si, you are a fundamentalist. You are a climate denier. Climate change denier. What would do with you? You are a fundamentalist. What should be done to fundamentalists? They should be annihilated. Pope Francis, leave the time of rest, especially Sundays. He has given a Sunday for mass and with the family. With the families, you saw in the pestilence 19 says, you know, it pestilence 19 crisis, uh, pandemic, uh, it's helped people to meet with families. But who is behind this climate agenda? Who is rejoicing in all this? The papacy. So, climate skeptics force to deny the link between global warming and hurricanes. If you deny this, you are a fundamentalist. You are a plague. You are a what? You should be annihilated. Pope Francis, Terry. Jab skeptics to stop being idiots and get their shots. It's a moral obligation that the Pope says, if you don't, you are troubling us. You are troubling us. So they are wondering after the papacy, friends. You are wondering after the papacy. Roman Catholic principles will be taken under the care and protection of the state. This national post will be followed by national ruin. This is what is destroying nations, friends. Destroying nations. They are following the papacy's teachings. They are following the papacy's teachings. This bringing a group of anger, group of anger, friends. Let no man deceive you by anything at a means. For that day shall not come except I come with falling away fast. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called God, so that he is God, sit in the temple of God, calling himself that he is God. The situation faced by Catholics and citizens of Nicaragua is, uh, em is uh, emblematic of of a rise in the suppression of dissent and human rights across the world. You think so? Behind it they say order out of chaos. Who is behind this order out of chaos? You have understood it already. How to incorporate the public and cyclical ladders into your classroom. So what are students learning in schools? The doctrines of aware, Do doctrine of the Son of God of Phoenicia. These are the doctrines of Rome. Doctrines of Rome, what is they are being taught? Everything is connected. Everything is connected. A reflection for another sea week. Is this what the president of Nicaragua saw? Jesus Conference of Asia Pacific. In Asia, they have taken over. So, shaping future leaders through Radata Sea. So, you can ask a question where, when this president of uh, Daniel uh, uh, was, uh, this Daniel was doing what? When Daniel was, uh, he actually deceived them. He deceived them that he was to work upon their principle. To be a future leader he deceived them that he was to adhere to their principles of louder the sea shaping which was shaping universities and such like but in in the end run he what he said no you will you will not reign in this uh, my nation nicaragua go away go away that is the agenda he not adhere with them freedom of speech the pope says has limits 
Aha, this they, that's the reason why they were saying they were confiscating summons from pastors. This is the agenda going all over the world from nation to nation. This is what the president of Nicaragua realized. He stood on the way of the papacy. No way away. They are coming for peaceful coexistence. You cannot preach the truth. Peaceful coexistence we need. Go away with your truth. Those who insist on keeping the truth are threatening the church. So you are threatening us? You are destroying self-destruction. All that of chaos? So who is behind it? Who is behind it? On this agenda of, of, of uh, fraternity, Pope Francis, who is behind it? An imposter Christian is threatening American democracy. Is this what the, uh, is this what uh, the president of Nicaragua realized? Okay, God knows. Uh -huh. Is this why uh, Google is uh, expanding, is depunking, uh, prepunking? is doing away with the tools who they think are preaching the truth online uh-huh okay students around the world what are students learning from uh, in schools let's see decorative projects students disciples from six continents engage god is ten commandments whose commandments pope francis issues ten green commandments whose commandments are those who is this calling himself god people are blind gonzaga university first in the u.s to join laudato see action plan God is Sabbath versus Pope is Sabbath. Who would you listen to? We are to stand in the trial and the test of persecution because of our agency to the truth. Not a move has been made in exerting the idol Sabbath in bringing around Sunday observance through registration. But Satan has been behind it and has been the chief worker. But the conscience, but the conscience should not be compelled even for the uh, observance of the genuine Sabbath for God will accept only the willing of service. But what is the purpose using force, friends? Pope is Sabbath, chaotic crossing days, all out of chaos. Pope Francis has messed up. He doesn't have a health run to God, all out of chaos. A reader's guide to the who is leading the world? Oh, friends, you can see. All out of chaos, a disruptive science, all out of chaos. For science, so called. The common good has become Guropo for, for Francis. What is that common Guropo? A common science. If you deny science, uh, you deny climate change, you are a fundamentalist. You should be annihilated. Who is this threatening American church? It's wrong, friends. Behind the scenes. One man is ruling over another in his own art, Ecclesiastes 8, verse 9. And an evil speaker, friends. So, in all manner of places, ranging from Central America to the Middle East, the basic human rights of individuals are under attack. So, who is behind, really behind attacking human individual human rights? It's the Roman, the Jesuits. The purpose is a Jesuits. Behind it, they bring order out of chaos. Behind it, these, these teachings have made the world mind. So, in dealing with an, an insidious force like the violation of human rights, it's a moral imperative for Jesuits to not shy away from addressing injustice as being perpetrated gropari. What has this justice perpetrated gropari? Climate change gropari? Uh huh. Pestilence 19. Wars and rumors of wars. Injustices. Rumors of wars. Who is behind the scenes? The papacy. All out of chaos, friends. Roman Catholic principles. The part of the Prince of Peace, six months since Ukraine war, Pope Francis asked Mary to bring peace. All out of chaos? Aha. Uh -huh. Who is this on the panel push? Aha. Uh -huh. Ten Green Commandments of Laudate Who is teaching Sardis? Laudate Si. Nations are calling for Sunday. A man made institution, friends. All out of, out of chaos. Independency. All out of chaos. The law for the observance of the first day of the week is the production of the apostate Christendom. A work of the papacy. Exerted by. Uh, the papacy, uh, aha, Pope is Sabbath, friends. The adversary has written a book. This my adversary is this Amman, Esther 7 6. My adversary has written a book. Has written a book. Job that one. Who is this adversary? It's Amman. Who is this ad adversary? Salvation is far from the wicked. For they seek not thy status. This is the wicked. The wicked Amman, friends. The wicked is uh, Amman has written a book, a sweeping and cyclical calls for swift action on climate change. This is the justice, climate justice, gropari. If you don't adhere with this, you are troubling us. What could happen to you? They would annihilate you, friends. They would annihilate you as they did to Jesus. The Sabbath was meant for man. So, who is this coming up with his own Sabbath? The papacy, friends. The Sabbath, the papacy. Who is coming with his Sabbath for the art and for the nature and for the poor to protect the poor? Uh -huh, uh -huh. 
Ah, that the hypocrite rain not. Lest the people be ensnared. The hypocrite is raining. People have been in trouble. In this gross darkness, the people, the darkness of verse 19. Who is leading them? The purpose is leading them. Ah, who is peace uh, uh, leading them? The purpose. The purpose is leading them. The purpose is leading them. Amman friend, sir, is leading them with his ten sons. Ten ons, ten sons. The variation of human rights in Nicaragua continues to be a pressing matter that agency requires acknowledgement, especially on the part of Jesuits across the world, especially in New Orleans. So Jesuits are over the world. As an incision that exposes Jesuit values, Loyola University, New Orleans, and other institutions like it hold a particular responsibility in inserting a deep conviction towards social justice, criminal justice, and a moral duty to get your jobs. Moral duty to protect uh, climate change, climate justice. Moral duty in the passionate students around the world reflecting loudness that come to these places for education and enlightenment. So, so what teachings are they receiving? Disciples to Pope Francis' teachings for group of justice, for group of justice, friends. Whose doctrines are these? You will wonder. Who is on the panning push? Mount Sinai preparing to host climate summit, a new group of religion. It's all about religion, friends. It's all about worship. A storm is here. A storm is here, friend. A storm is here. And people are apostizing. A leader's guide to the A storm is here. Pope France, the chaplain of the United Nations. The pastor of the world, a man of his own word. Who is the world listening to? Pope transfers the responsibility to bishops. So who are schools listening to? A U Bishops call for nation to protect work free Sunday. A U Bishops, Pope transfers responsibility to A U Bishops, friends. So, who are they for in? A storm is here, the storm cloud of the 21st century. A storm is here. If a 70 day advances are, are mingling in this, oh, friends. In the movements now in progress in, in the United States, not only in the US, but in Nicaragua, to secure for the institution and usages of the church in the support of states, Protestants are following in the steps of the, pap the Papist. Oh, friends, come out of her. An idol support has been set up as the golden image was set up in the plains of Dura. As in Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Papron, issued a decree that all who would not bow down and worship his image should be killed. So a proclamation will be made that all who will not reverence the Sunday incision will be punished with imprisonment and death. Isaiah 10 huh? and downwards. Pope Francis, a catastrophe reign. Aha. Uh -huh. Senator Johnny, a challenge of Pope Francis to American seminarians. So these universities, what are they running? Students around the world reflect on Laudatesi. What are students running in, in Nicaragua universities? Laudatesi. Australian Jesuits. Australian Jesuits amplify commitment to Laudatesi. So what are Jesuits amplifying? Laudatesi. Pope is teachings. These are the wine cup of the woman of Revelation chapter 17. Whose cup, golden cup is carrying what? Doctrines. Decorative projects. Disciples from six continents engage Pope with ten commandments. Who is calling himself God, friends? He's calling himself God. That his teachings has gone groppo. Don't you see? Are your eyes open? Australian Jesus amplify committed, committed to commitment to Laudatesi. In your classroom, friends, children in whom was no blemish were being taken captive, friends, whom they might teach the language of the Cadiz, the language of Papron. This is Papron. Get out of Egypt, friends. Get out of Egypt. This is closing days of chaotic closing days. Get out of Egypt, friends. And in both the Christianity is here, troubling us, friends. Get out of her, friends. Get out of her, friends. God is calling. Papua University, get out of her, friends. These teachings, Laudatesi, documentary, puts a human face on climate change. So, is this what students are learning in schools? This is how climate change and education are linked. So, what are students learning in Nicaragua? Oh, friends. In Nicaragua, they were learning about climate change and idol support, friends, and the religious that are good for planet. Uh, these are the teaching students are learning, friends. Aha, uh -huh, this is what students are learning in schools, friends. Uh, so, and now, as in former ages, Rome has worked through the church, or uh, Satan has worked through the church to further our designs, friends. Oh, friends, the warning is come out of her. Isaiah 28, verse 15. Because you have said, we have made a covenant with the dead. What is this covenant with the dead? And with her, we at agreement. What is this her? We at her agreement. I cover this at her. They are saying is that Mary is praying for us, consecrating the word to Mary. Uh, Mata heart, Mata Mary. Whenever the shall pass through, it shall not come over us. 
for we have made lies our refuge. Who is our refuge? The rock. The word of God is our refuge. Jesus is our rock. Jesus is our refuge. God is our refuge. But these people have made the dead. Lord of the city, their refuge. But the word of God is quick. The word of God is living. It's our refuge. The rock. But these people have made Lord of the city, their refuge. And the fools who have we hid themselves. They have hid themselves from God. They don't want the voice of God anymore. Ezekiel 13, 32. Because with lies you have made the heart of the righteous sad, whom I have not made sad, and strengthened the hands of the wicked, that he should not return from his wicked way, by promising peace and safety, by promising him life, by promising peace and safety. Where they say, where is the promise of his coming, friends? Come out of uh, my people. God is saying, come out of uh, Rome, Nicaragua presidents. Oh, friends, has he really seen the light? I wonder if he has seen the light. What is happening here? Who, whose doctrines are these? The doctrines of Rome have made the world mad. As in Nicaragua presidents, Ortega stood in the Jesuit Popeye's way. A question for you. The Jesuits are taking the world captive. Every cardinal a bishop in the Catholic Church takes an oath of allegiance to the Pope. So they are selling their taxes to who? To Rome. Do you know why, 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 why how it happened? Because the federal, federal bank was established. And those federal bank money is the money of the Vatican bank. The federal bank is private. So they established a war for the First World War. And the First World War, their main agenda was to have a League of, League of Nations. And the League of Nations, is his agenda also is to ensure that the Pope has universal power. Universal power. The League of Nations, his agenda is to have the Pope to have a universal power. This is the peace, universal leader, a group of leader, a universal power. A, the UN Council, uh, who is leading the UN? I've said it for France, the chairman of the UN. Who is leading the UN? You don't see. If you don't see the sin and disorder about Rome, you cannot see. Pope is, uh, 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 is gaining his lost supremacy. May God help you to see if you don't see. May God of heaven assist you to see because we live in the perilous times of the end. May God bless you as you remain faithful in these times of the end. My name is Evangelist King Osiemo. More share, please. Share, 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 share. Share with others so that they can see that we are in danger. Father in heaven, thank you because you have spoken. Thank you because you have prepared me for me for this. Father, help your people to see that we may run, that we may awaken many uh, from this dense darkness. Oh, Father, thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray and I believe. Amen. May God bless you. God bless you. God be with you. Thank you so much for your time. My name is Evangelist King Osiemo. Goodbye.